the Collins Dictionary defines passionate as having very strong feelings about something or a strong belief. What about if you don't feel passionate about homeschooling? What if you don't have a strong belief or strong feelings about it? Should you even be homeschooling your kids? This episode is my letter to you, the half-hearted homeschooler. This is episode number 72 of the Raising Mums podcast. Welcome to Raising Mums, a live weekly broadcast streaming on Facebook and Instagram that inspires mums to live with purpose and intention, to raise their children mindfully and empowers mothers everywhere to own their lives and thrive doing it. You began homeschooling your kids at full force. Most of us do. You were dedicated to doing what was best for your kids and you were eager to learn more about it, more of what you needed to know. You were passionate about your decision to homeschool your kids. But then somewhere down the road, that enthusiasm faded and you started to feel bored, sometimes disinterested in it all. It's not like you're unhappy. It's just that homeschooling feels like another job that needs to get done, like the cooking or the cleaning. It wasn't supposed to be like this. If you go on Instagram or YouTube or anywhere like that and search homeschooling, you will find mamas who love homeschooling, so much so that they want to talk about it. Mums like me. Homeschoolers who want to share their homeschool routine, their curriculum choices, the books they love, all the things homeschooling. And it's understandable if you look at them, if you look at me, and you think that you are supposed to feel the same way. That if you don't get excited by books, then there's something wrong with you. If you don't get giddy about choosing between curriculum, then something's amiss. And if you don't know all the different methodologies and you haven't read the latest homeschooling books, then you're not a real homeschooler. But do you really need to be passionate about homeschooling to do it? Dear sister, let me ask you this. Do you follow any cookery accounts online, on Instagram? Maybe you follow Walk With Nyla. She came into our community and launched a homeschool, did a masterclass about meal prepping and easy recipes that you can do as a homeschooling mum. It was fantastic. So maybe you follow her or maybe you watch some cookery shows. Have you ever seen Nadia Hussein cook? Of course you have. She gets so excited about her ingredients, doesn't she? Her face lights up when she's trying out new ingredients, new dishes. And you know that she is so knowledgeable about different types of cooking and different cuisine. She is clearly passionate about cooking. And when you watch her, does that make you feel like you shouldn't even be cooking? Or... Do you feel inspired to try things out? Knowing that, okay, maybe you're not going to be a chef like her. And maybe some days you really don't feel like cooking at all. But you are capable of feeding your family healthy and delicious food every day. So what about homeschooling? When you see Instagram accounts of homeschoolers doing amazing things, beautiful hands-on projects, trekking up mountains, making their own sourdough bread, doing all these things, does that make you feel like you shouldn't even be homeschooling? Or do you just take from those things, take inspiration from those things and know that, yes, some days you might not even feel like doing it, but you are capable of giving your children a fantastic education. Maybe homeschooling is not your passion. Maybe home education is not your life's work. But so what? So what? You can still give your children an incredible education at home. Maybe you're not going to start a YouTube channel anytime soon. That's okay. You don't need to. Maybe homeschooling feels like a job. And that's okay too. Because all that really matters is that you're doing that job well. Whether it's your passion or it's not your passion. So before we continue with the rest of today's episode, I just want to pause for a quick break to tell you about an incredible resource that I have for you and your family. Connect with your children this Ramadan. 
strengthen their Iman, deepen their love for Islam with our exclusive library for Muslim parents. Choose from hundreds of free resources, teach Quran, Sirah, the 99 names of Allah, Ramadan and Eid crafts and much more. Create a memorable and meaningful Ramadan for your kids. Visit ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library to get access to our huge library of hundreds of educational resources for Muslim kids. That's ourmuslimhomeschool.com forward slash library. Of course, if you hate homeschooling, <laughs> you really don't want to home educate your kids anymore, then you probably should take a step back and think about your options. But if you know that homeschooling is the best education your children can get, if you still believe it's the best thing for them, then it's okay to do it without passion. I just finished reading this book called So Good They Can't Ignore You by Cal Newport. I'm a big fan of Cal Newport and I'd recommend his books to any of you who are interested in productivity or any kind of thought work. He's a fantastic author. But this particular book of his was about how you should not follow your passions, specifically in your career. And he talked about what you should do instead. One of the key points that he raised in the book was that most people don't start off their careers with passion. They just fall into a job and they work hard at that job for years, learning new skills, gaining knowledge, gaining experience. And then after many years of getting really good at what they do, then they find their passion. And I believe the same thing applies to home education. After that initial uh, euphoria dies away, most of us are not passionate about teaching maths or art or literature but after years of diligently working with our children trying out new things with them learning from the inevitable mistakes that we make and learning new skills and techniques you start to get good at it you start to find your groove and then maybe Allah allows you to find your passion in homeschooling Dear sister, don't expect the passion from the very beginning. Not feeling passionate about homeschooling is not a reason to stop home educating your kids. It's okay if you're not in love with homeschooling. The passion will come later, once you've put the work in. And maybe, maybe it'll never come. Maybe your passions will lie elsewhere. And so what? That is okay too. You are still giving your children a beautiful childhood and an incredible education. Just like you can still put good food on the table without winning the Great British Bake Off. So don't be so hard on yourself. You're a good mum. If you weren't, you wouldn't be listening to this podcast. You want to do what's, what's best for your kids. And honestly, your kids are lucky to have you, mashallah. Look after yourself, friend. Really, look after yourself. So we're going to wrap that up for today. Before we end, I just want to quickly read out a review that was left on iTunes. This review is from Emma J123. And she says, must listen. Alhamdulillah, these podcasts are so helpful. The topics covered are so relevant to how I feel and are great to help keep me going. Jazakallah. Well, thank you so much, Emma J123, for your five-star review. That really made me smile. It made my day. And uh, thank you so much for leaving that on iTunes. So wherever you are listening to this podcast, make sure you head over to that provider and leave the Raising Mums podcast a five-star review. And even better, let everybody know why you enjoy listening to it. And if you're on social media, take a screenshot of this episode and share it out with the people who you know and who you love and let them know that they should tune in as well. well thank you so much for joining me here today. Have a beautiful week and a beautiful Ramadan, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.